All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to create server-specific decorations for your various different Discord profiles. If you're not aware, inside of your user settings in the lower left-hand corner, you've got this Profiles tab, and inside this Profiles tab, you've got two things. You've got your main profile where you can tell people about yourself, what you do, who you are, all that stuff, whatever you want to publicly share with the world of Discord. And then over here under server profiles, you can select a specific branded profile that is different for every single server that you're a member of. So in this server, I am Pepsi Man because that's just become a running joke. And I can change my decorations depending on which server that I am on. So right now I've currently got it set up to have just like a weird meat animated background here with Pepsi man as my icon and then like a breakfast thing animates over top of it. But I can change any of this stuff to be specific to that server. And then if they click through, this is my basic profile. So I feel like, why don't we go ahead and change this? Let's pick a new server here at the top. I've got one for hell divers official discord server. Um, Larry, the Admiral Cabra, we'll just call myself the Admiral there. And then, uh, my pronouns are diver slash, um, democracy, because that's the running joke for that game. And then I can even change my avatar if I'd like. So for avatars, when you're updating or uploading avatars, you've got two options. You can either upload an image or you can use a GIF that is already out and about on Discord. And to get a GIF onto Discord, you basically just have to upload it somewhere where it's available and viewable publicly, and then it enters the giant public pool. Why they show up for some people and not others, I couldn't necessarily tell you. At this time, I haven't done that research, but you can search for GIFs to use for a profile or for a banner through the ones that are available publicly. Most of them are pretty PG, so you don't have to worry about anyone getting angry at you or getting in trouble rules-wise if you decide to use them. Now, for my purposes, I find the Rando Is webcomic to be immensely amusing, so I have a selection of different Rando Is profile pictures available that I can use at any given time, depending on what humor or mood I am in. And I'm just gonna pick one of these for my profile on this one. So let's go with, um, um, we'll do this one, this staring at you from the side picture. Then I can zoom in if I want, so it's kind of like a funny side profile. I can zoom out a little bit so you can see like there's facial features and chin and stuff. So that'll be my profile picture on this server. Then I can make a uh, Hell Divers banner my actual banner. So Hell Divers has a bunch of different stuff I can pick from. Oh yes, the the dancing calling in stratagem one is 100% what I'm doing. Perfect. So that's my banner on here. And then for, I've got an avatar. What kind of avatar decoration do I want? I got a few that I've gotten. Um, these are the free ones that you can get as a member of Discord Nitro. Uh, normally I go with this one, but maybe I'll do that. Or did I ever buy any other ones? I don't know if I even bought any of these. For the most part, I tend not to buy things on Discord. So yeah. I can't, you know, if I actually bought some, how would you even tell? Do they just not have a lock on their thing? Because these are other ones you can buy. If you like Valorant or any of these other ones, you can purchase them for like $2 to $8. So I'll do it with this little headset one. That'll be fine. Profile effects. I did actually buy profile effects. So I've got this one, the breakfast one. Um, There's also these freebies which feel very sci-fi, so those are kind of appropriate to Helldivers, I feel like. Let's go with this one. And we can apply that. 
And I've already changed my profile banner by hovering over here. So you can either go through these buttons on the, the middle here, or you can click on the individual components on your profile. And then what do I do in Helldivers? I... Response to SOS doesn't drop the samples. It's one thing you never want to do in Helldiver Prison is drop the samples. It's like dropping the soap. Although for some reason it's not changing my profile effect. Apply that one, please. There we go. Now save changes. Excellent. And now that is my profile specifically for Helldivers. And then if I look at any of these other ones that I've actually got like stuff on, like my Chupacabra's Lair. Actually, I don't think I have anything specific for that one. But like, I've got some different ones depending on where I go. Like I'm Pepsi Man, or I'm the Breakfast Man. It just kind of depends. And again, it just kind of also depends what my mood is when I'm setting these different things up. So if you want to purchase different decorations, you have to go into your section up at the top where all of your debt direct messages are stored. And then inside of the shop, as you can see right here, it's called the shop. They've got some new Valorant ones. I'm not a big fan of Valorant, so buying limited time Valorant stuff isn't really my jam. But these are all animated. They can be banners. They can be profile art, that sort of a thing. They've also got some avatar decorations that are spring themed if you like rainbows or dandelions or blossoms they've also got different profile effects in each one of these different categories that you can pick up my biggest qualm is for something so small that you only like you don't only see only occasionally these things are awfully expensive like five dollars for an animation when they've got millions of users i feel like they could make more money if they just made these like a dollar a piece and then like the rare ones are the expensive ones so you can unlock these or you can give gift these to a friend although do note that in order to get these to work you do need discord nitro so these are only effects that you can use if you're a user of discord nitro do they ever add any more freebies no the freebies are still the ones that i've already unlocked which kind of sucks but I'm sure they'll add more freebies in the future. These were a lot of fun back when anybody with Discord Nitro could just preview them and use them for like however long that they were available for limited run. And I think they should do that again. Like they should have a host more like okay-ish ones that are animated that you can get, which would be a lot cooler. And I've got some ones that are sort of cyberpunk themed, which is cool. And so once you've got those, you can equip those down into your profile, which is under user settings, under profiles. You can see all that here. They're split into two sections. This is your main user profile, which doesn't change. Like once you click past like the server specific one, people will see this is you, the real you, the core you. Whereas these ones are just kind of like fun art that you can do to theme yourself based upon the other servers that you like to hang out in. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. You can do different um, visual effects per server. They said this was new. When I go into the what's new section, they said that you can choose where people can see your decorations, just like the avatars and biographies. So that's why I decided to make this guide today, because they said this is what's in new in the new section. They also have some polls coming up in the discord server polls so they have the updates about polls are coming when those are available to like servers in general i will do a separate video on what those are about so until next time i've been your host larry don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye everybody and have a good one